Hello, I'm Antonio Sando, PhD professor at uh, Stefan Chalmari University from uh, Suchava and uh, director of uh, Lumen Publishing House and uh, Lumen uh, Conference Center. Today we'll uh, talk about uh, elements of ethics in uh, science communication, publication ethics, an important topic for uh, those uh, of you who want to uh, publish in uh, scientific journals or uh, publishing house or uh, to even uh, uh, create your own uh, uh, PhD or uh, thesis in uh, all kind of uh, social and humanistic uh, fields. Scientific publishing implies uh, laborious work which uh, ha has uh, in time shaped in uh, its own communication methodology, different from other articles from such as journalism. The elaboration of the article in accordance with the rules in the field increases the chance that uh, it uh, attracts the attention of the reviewers and editors of the scientific journals and implicitly the acceptance of the article for publication. Once published, the article will attract interest readers from uh, the field and then quote in uh, specialized publications. For uh, specialized uh, journals, compliance with the rules uh, of uh, publication, ethical rules especially, is usually a sign of scientific maturity and editorial experience, waking up the author's trust in the field in uh, which the journal aims to perform. Some ethical elements in the process of publication and communication of science. If the excellency research addresses a high, a high profile audience, it should be promoted in notorious publications, which are rather accepted by reference research in a certain field. It is the case of uh, ICI indexes uh, publication, now it's co uh, called Clarivate Analytic uh, Indexed. Uh, included in the first two quartiles in so-called red zone or uh, other kind of uh, uh, very important publication in uh, Scopus and so on uh, as being uh, journals with the highest notoriety in the field. David Hull argues that the system of research is configured so that it is based on rewarding the results in the form of academic credit obtained by the researcher and uh, the punishment of uh, behavior that lack scientific honesty so that it should be enough to ensure the credibility of the results of the published uh, results, even in lack of repeated verification in the uh, manner, manner uh, proposed by Popper. The need of trust in the results previously obtained or more uh, precisely in the honesty with which uh, they were obtained since uh, characteristic of the scientific research is a frequent change of explicative patterns brings the emergence of increased demand for credibility of the results from the perspective of their honesty, but also from the, that of their basic evaluation through the peer review process. On the other hand, the need to publish uh, in uh, or, uh, order to obtain uh, those academic credits may cause some uh, scholars to appeal to journals that do not make peer review or whose peer review quality is uh, questionable. Although publishing is questionable, quality journal is not really uh, an academic fraud. This uh, may diminish the academic credibility of a researcher who publish exclusively or largely on in, uh, only in this uh, category of journal. So uh, the, uh, the, uh, if the paper is uh, good enough to be published in a peer review journal, then uh, the author should uh, try to publish it in this kind of journals. If the paper is not quality enough, maybe the author should uh, revise, uh, re review uh, the uh, paper uh, to increase uh, the quality of English translations, of uh, proofreading, copy editing, um, in order to obtain good quality of the paper, good presentation of the data, and uh, uh, so on. The peer review process, along with the reproducibility of the results, is represented by methods of ensuring credibility of a science production, both at the level of the research project and of the publication of results. As regards the peer review process, this ensures an evaluation of the 
quality of research from the perspective of the methodology used, the originality, and its meaning for the research field and for science in general. A series of researches suggests the existence of serious bias in the process of peer review, even in well-ranked uh, journals, especially in the field of social and humanistic sciences, related to the conservatorism of the reviewers on the methodology they used, the trans-paradigmatic researches uh, that uh, uh, questions the theoretical perspective which uh, constitute the scientific mainstream on the field, and so on. In some situations, there were cases of uh, discrimination related to the gender or nationality of the researchers, probably due to the journal publishers uh, rather than peer reviewers during the blind peer review process. This result with regards to the limit of peer review as the sole mechanism for the selection of science, uh, scientific projects and publication had another series of uh, criticisms related to the inconsistency of uh, reviews for the same work when a reviewer suggests a rejection from publication on the basis of methodology or outcomes considered to be mistaken and another uh, peer reviewer recommend publication on the basis of the same methodologies and outcomes. Uh, moreover, in the social and humanistic field, it is possible to reject an article or research project based on the inconsistency between the ideological perspective of the reviewer and ideological background or even the empirical result obtained by the researcher. That is an ethical uh, mistake uh, from uh, journals and uh, peer reviewers. The most radical criticism of the peer review process states that it is useless in ensuring the scientific quality of the publication due to the subjectivity of the reviewers. Fiona Goodley, editor of a British Medical Journal, one of the most respected journals in the medical field, has conducted an experience introducing 18 intended errors in an article that was already accepted for publication and then sending it to 4,200 uh, reviewers, 22 uh, uh, 221 of them have identified two of the errors, while 60% of the reviewer identified none of them. A number of limits of using the peer review system in evaluating the contemporary scientific pro uh, production are subjectivity of the reviewers can put it to mark on the quality of the peer review process. In general, the important journals require the opinion of several reviewers to fundament their decision of accepting or rejecting from publication in many situations, but the opinion of a single reviewer is used to justify the decision of rejection from publication without the reviewer's view being discussed by the authors in the same case, for example, in evaluating of uh, uh, proposal of uh, research, research uh, projects uh, where uh, there is a, in some uh, funding agency a stage of rebuttal when uh, the proponents of the project express their own opinion towards the position of reviewers, uh, contradicting it, also referring to the subjectivity of the reviewers. This is uh, manifested in the availability of uh, giving advice or improving the article worth being published, but which doesn't uh, meet all the requirements for publication in the proposed uh, form. So uh, in, uh, in such case, uh, authors should uh, uh, express uh, their um, interest to publish and to uh, make uh, necessary correction if they consider necessary uh, or uh, uh, response to reviewers why the suggestions are not acceptable for uh, the authors. The long time for the peer review process in the case of certain journal who have a lo large number of articles proposed for publication may last up to two years between the moment of sending the article in initial form and the time of publication after a few rounds of successive resending and re-evaluation the process of peer review basically slowed down the editorial process making a series of data being irrelevant or in the case of similar theories making a researcher lose priority over it uh, to another researcher who published in a fast uh, publishing journal a partially used uh, solution used to by the journals in uh, is to publish uh, within the article the data it was proposed at and uh, the data it was uh, to publish also the data where the, accept, uh, where the article uh, was accepted. Uh, in uh, this pandemic time, the, um, uh, many uh, authors uh, tried to publish uh, uh, the paper uh, prior to be uh, peer-reviewed in uh, form as they sent to the journals and 
uh, uh, article should pass uh, the peer review process after publication and also this uh, co uh, could cause uh, some uh, uh, some problems uh, if an, ac an article for example those to propose an um, uh, medical approach or uh, clinical one uh, is accept is uh, uh, take it for uh, using in uh, clinical practice and uh, after that the article is retracted or even not accepted to publication from uh, reviewers. The peer review system is difficult to use in detecting fraudulent publications based on falsifying data because the reviewer doesn't have direct access to the data underlying the article but only to those mentioned that can be true or falsified including by truncating them and presenting only those that uh, support the hypothesis of the researcher. And, uh, the, limit, uh, the limited number of research accepting to be peer-reviewed peer for different uh, financing bodies or scientific journals, especially under the condition in which uh, this uh, activity, at least in the case of the majority of the journal, is voluntary. Under those circumstances, certain journals accept researchers with a smaller experience in the field to be reviewers and uh, who, despite their best intention and honesty, may produce incorrect or incomplete peer reviews, either to uh, by to quickly reject the article without giving improvement suggestions, or by accepting them with uh, very little or no suggestion at all. Uh, the possible ethical fraud in uh, elaborating the review, when uh, personalities in the field reje uh, reject research projects or articles that could question their own previous results, or well, would uh, simply be a competition for them, or on the contrary, accept with maximum easy projects or article coming from members of uh, the formal networks but uh, especially the informal ones of researchers that can and help each other. A lack of clarity concerning the copyright uh, of the suggestions made uh, by the reviewer within the process of peer review raises a series of questions as follow it. The if the suggestions offered by reviewer become the intellectual property of the author of the article in the hypothesis in which the article includes a suggestion but it is uh, published in a journal other than the one for which the peer review uh, was done brings the issue whether using them without mentioning the source is or is not considered plagiarism. If the reviewer holds the copyright then the dilemma is whether this should be mentioned at least in acknowledgement or bibliography but in this case the anonymous character of the review disappear and if the copyright is automatically transferred to the author of the article, it brings the questions of whether uh, the reviewer are motivated to offer valuable suggestions to the author, knowing that their idea will be incorporated into the article without any credit. At present, Clarivate Analytics initiative facilitated the recognition of reviewer qualities through the PubLons website, but this is done in a general manner without mentioning reviewers' contributions, uh, contributions to each article. The possibility of uh, false reviews uh, through uh, fictitious uh, reviewer accounting belonging in fact to the author or of the article or his uh, collaborator, the po this possibility emerged in the case of journal but also of research funding lines that require the author to indicate a possible list of reviewers in the field of the article from which the jour journal of, or financing would choose some of them as uh, reviewers. Despite all these uh, limits of peer review using uh, editorial process, this uh, remained the current form of ass assessment of the scientific quality of research projects and uh, articles proposed to be pub uh, publication and the results of research proposed for, uh, artic uh, for articles or uh, books. On the other hand, the results of the transfer of research into technology should be published in journal or publication that are accessible to managers that could use them in practice. Publication in high uh, quotated uh, journal with very high ranking either oblige the manager to cite those journal and to read it uh, that they are not actually uh, destined for them or condemns the results of the transfer of research and technology to remind sterile. Uh, the journal considered significant in a certain f uh, field have a rejection rate of uh, article that varies between 30% and 70% uh, based on the uh, positioning of the journal in the national and 
international hierarchy of the impact factor, elements that uh, materialized in the number of articles available for publication. Many of the important journals in different fields will prefer to publish a small number of articles uh, with the greatest chance of being quoted, eliminating significantly incorrect articles but presumed by the, author, the editor to attract fewer citations. The international classification, especially the one given by uh, Thomson writers, uh, private analytics or scopus, consider the numbers of citations the article in journal received in a given period of time. As such, journal, journals uh, wishing to enter these classifications to maintain and obtain a best position will admit predominantly or even exclusively article, articles validated from the point of view of scientific correctness, which the editors of the journal appreciate would bring citations. Uh, from the, uh, this point of view, a selection criteria, unethical from our perspective, but frequently used in practice, even outside of the peer review process, is the analysis of previous citation of the author's publication in database, a process that uh, the chief editor performs, or uh, other editors, major editors in the, in the journal. Even if an article receive favorable reviews from uh, references from reviews, it may be rejected because it is considered unattractive for the positioning of the publication in the scientific market, uh, especially when the uh, authors of the articles are young researchers. The existence of a platform such as ORCID and the calculation of some scientometric uh, indicators such as the Hirsch factors may encourage this behavior uh, of journal editors uh, in uh, the legitimate desire the, to position themselves and their journals in the ranking that uh, take as a reference the uh, number of citations, such as those related to impact factor or score influence art or article influence score, which may be inclined to reject more easily article from early career researchers who have a limited capacity to attract citations by means other than uh, the intrinsic values of the articles and more easily admit senior researchers who are part of formal or informal research networks and thus attract quotes from within the network. Research networks are legitimate and encouraged to form precisely to encourage the development of a particular field of research. The researchers that study within the same field know each other directly by participating in a congress or research stage or indirectly only by con constantly reading the article published by other members of the network. Thus, Mutual influences occur within uh, the research networks, translate, uh, translated also by cross-citation of the member of the network. An ethical error associated with the existence of networks of researchers is the manipulation of the impact factor of journals in, and, in general, of scientometric indicators by reciprocal citation of members of such a network, especially on an informal nature, whether the article has been used or not as a source of documentation for the article. Another practice is the direct or indirect obligation, uh, including by the existence of a common sense at the level of the research institution of doctoral students to quote the publications of their tutor and or the members of the thesis evaluation committee. This practice legitimates itself when the PhD student works in a joint research project with uh, his coordinator or a project based on the previous coordinator results become fraudulent when the quote sources have nothing to do with the doctoral work but they are only come in order to increase the scientific visibility of the coordinator. Another informal practice is, to, is the coordinator's suggestion for the PhD student or the members of research team to avoid the citing a researcher with whom the coordinator is in a conflict or competition. Publication of the research result is considered part of the author's marketing of science or ma author's uh, own um, brand marketing and uh, so personal branding uh, and not as a simple fulfillment of the ethical or uh, contractual obligation of disseminating the research's own uh, results. In the case of article of equal scientific quality, some of uh, the journal that, uh, that questions the problem of editorial space insufficiently might first prefer an author with a higher citation, with higher citation index, an author who also published in that journal, thus quoting him and only in the last place an author who has not previously been published. The existence of a significant number of articles published by an author, but subsequently undetected, may result in a reduction in the chance of publication in an important journal. 
Nevertheless, is, it is necessary to take into account the editorial office of significant publications in the term of positioning in the scientific journal market, given that in the social and humanistic in the human domain, the number of citations is much lower than in other fields of science. In the field of sociology, for example, the average impact of the an, uh, publication is around one, with a peak around the figure of three and the median of 0 0.5, while in other areas of the science, the average impact factor of the field could often be around the number of three. Appreciating the work of a researcher exclusively after the criteria of publishing in journals with high scientific prestige condemns the research to be separated from the production or the social practice in general. Rethinking the research market based on the addressability of a research doesn't exclude the need of, for scientific rigor on the peer review. We consider that the publication with the role of promoting the research results should be differentiated from those with the role of disseminating the results of the research in itself inside the scientific community. We do not consider that a real hierarchy between fundamental and applied research can be established since uh, they both participate to the progress of knowledge. The stimulation of the verification of research, resu research results by promoting them outside the narrow framework of the project in which they were conducted could attract a more rapid insertion of scientific knowledge into social practice and thus a more rapid trans transition to the knowledge-based society. Another dimension of the promotion of science is the fast exposure of ideas, models and theories towards the scientific and academic audience. This is achieved through a mass of scientific books and university courses. We can formulate this, the question whether the making of such scientific books and courses is uh, indeed a work of research or it is another field of scientific authorship such as uh, education. From our point of view, the development of a specialized book in a, is an effective research in terms of selecting the most significant theories uh, when with the greatest chance of impact in professional practice. All research is the development of the point of view on uh, exposed theories, which will uh, eventually lead to the opening of a new areas of research. On one hand, we could state that the fundamental research by reading books can be done since too few, uh, few scientific theories or absolutely original points of view required such as extensive treatment. On the other hand, the wide exposure space offered by a volume allows the researcher to expose his ideas in a more clear and augmented way, but in extent, so outlining the possible collateral op uh, openings, unique uh, methodological approach, typology of understanding the scientific reality, and so on. Therefore, the ideas presented in a book with scientific value should widely present at least one original point of view of the uh, author and focus around it. The role of promoter of science that the scientific book has created a new applicative opening of the theory of uh, uh, or ideas contained in the volume or is a scientific pseudo uh, literate, literacy. The scientific paper also has two levels of addressability uh, to the experts and the researchers in a given field to provide them with the new ideas and research direction and, and to professionals to whom they have uh, to present models, techniques or technology that can be applied in activity practi in, uh, in practice. Book uh, targeting experts and researchers should have a higher level of abstraction and as such a more limited audience. So it is important to make difference between uh, books addressed to uh, only a peak audience in scientific uh, research or to professionals, uh, who, uh, those who uh, turn uh, the idea into uh, current practice. The volume addressed to professionals should be built in such a way as to be accessible to at least medium level professional to assist in their professional practice. Universities' uh, textbooks have the mission to disseminate the results of science to future professionals or researchers. Their construction should be based on the principle of opening the student's horizon to the exposed idea and providing them with the ma main tools for exercising uh, the profession and or copying, uh, uh, carrying out the researching. Exposing uh, scientific or practical professional theories should not focus on their excellency, but uh, rather to know how of their application in the practice. Thus, we ask ourselves the questions, 
what are the dimensions of scientific authoring in the development of professional manuals, a professional uh, practice. They should be analyzed according to the criteria of the practical efficiency of the informa information provided and at the same time of the conceptual opening rather than the scientific and novelty value. All this type of scientific writing generating in their own way the general advance of knowledge. Uh, even if, uh, if we present only the uh, theory that already exists in literature in the another f in the, uh, but in another field and we present it into a new field of uh, practice, it uh, can uh, constitute a good advance of uh, practice in the field. The editing of scientific literature raised the issue of the need for scientific uh, qualification of publishers and an ample professional representation in the editorial board. If for fundamental science the role of the reviewers is to methodologically analyze the approach proposed by author, in the case of a scientific publishing, the role of the reviewers and editors of the scientific books, for example, is to appreciate the ex existence of elements of originality within the volume, the premises for uh, future scientific exploitation. In textbooks and university uh, manuals, they should uh, stop at the pragmatic dimension of the paper and the way in which uh, prospective professionals can extract competency from the study. Scientific authorship, who are the authors of the article and how to establish the order of authorship of a scientific article. The author of a scientific article are generally those who participate in elaboration of the research and the writing of the article itself. The theor in theoretical research, such as philological, philosophical, legal or political, one or the, at most a few uh, people participate in all stages of the research. In uh, science, in, uh, in uh, mathematics and nature science, and partially in social science where uh, the research is uh, wider, there are a large number of people involved in research, both in preliminary phases, in collecting experimental data, in, in drawing conclusion and writing the article. Aside from them, a number of specialists can provide meaningful feedback in writing the article, especially from the coordinator of the research group or the scientific coordinator of the dissertation or doctoral thesis, which are often involved in the research and the drafting of the thesis. Carlsberg Borg uh, shows that the definition of scientific authority uh, and a clear interpretation of uh, which individuals are entitled to sign an article are far from being clarified in uh, the scientific literature. Uh, the journal is different areas of science uh, apply different rules regarding the inclusion of a leader in the uh, list of authors and or in the order of authors. Svelberg shows that for a person to be on the list of authors, it should have significant intellectual contribution at, in at least one of the domain, conceiving and uh, design the, of the paper, data acquisition, data analysis and interpretation, statistic analysis, scientific supervision of the research, elaboration of a draft of the article, uh, formulation of, of observational reviews with important intellectual content. All authors must agree on publication and be able to support research by answering questions about this research. Contributors who do not meet the criteria to be authors should be included in acknowledgement in or uh, a contribu uh, contributor's uh, list. It is not very usual in uh, scientific literature, especially in the uh, Romania or in the uh, uh, Eastern uh, countries, uh, that together with the doctoral or master uh, uh, students who publish an article, the uh, coordinating professor should also sign, although in, may, uh, sit in many situations this should not be taken into account, both because of the uh, increased uh, volume of uh, coordinator's scientific contribution and the credibility that the scientific personality with weight to bring to the work. The contact between young researcher and highly experienced researcher will be responsible for both sides reducing the risk of plagiarism or misrepresentation of data. As uh, regards the author's order, this should respect the volume of work submitted and the importance of the scientific contribution of each author. Presenting in alphabetical order, men mentioning the uh, equal contribution of each author in acknowledgement, draws attention to the equal quote quoting of author in each uh, signatory. Uh, databases identified together with the lead author, co-authors, and the reprint authors as the correspondent with the potential readers. In some journals, the last author is, uh, is uh, mentioned the coordinator of the paper when appropriate. 
affiliation are usually referred to as footnotes on the first page of the article, even when no footnotes are used for uh, the critical uh, apparatus. Uh, acknowledgement usually includes the recognition of the contribution of third party to the research that leads to creation of the article or act, uh, actual uh, writing of the article but whose contribution is not significant as to be considered author. Also, the acknowledgements include information on the uh, source of research funding, the research organization in which the authors carry out the research activity or research project in which the data was obtained and so on. Citation and critical apparatus. From an ethical perspective, correct and complete quoting of all sources used in the documentation process avoid plagiarism. Plagiarism is taking an idea of or scientific uh, artistic literacy or other kind of creation in whole or part and uh, their uh, presentation as the creation of uh, the author who uh, takes them. Uh, plagiarism take different form from the full take of uh, take up of the broad contents of certain materials exactly in the form in which it appears in original to the taking of uh, one or some idea even processed by storytelling, paraphrasing and so on without mentioning the original source. Plagiarism can be involuntary when previously heard or uh, uh, read ideas are presented unintentionally as their own, especially when a significant period has passed since they were received and were reconceptualized with the author's own ideas. Voluntary plagiarism occurs when the ideological content is taken voluntarily to the uh, author being aware that this content does not belong to him. Voluntary plagiarism is a form of intellectual uh, fraud. The discovery of plagiarism leads to serious consequences, reaching uh, to the exclusion of the plagiarists from the academic community, the withdrawal of scientific and professional title obtaining fraudulently. To detect plagiarism, academic institutions and publishers use a number of anti-plagiarism software, the most well known uh, of which is uh, Turnitin, uh, so, uh, plagiarism detect uh, or authenticate. Uh, anti-plagiarism software highlights the similarity between the text being analyzed and other texts existing in the database made available by uh, the software or the internet. The existence of similarity does not necessarily mean plagiarism. The software hi highlighting, for example, the name of the research institution or references as similar to other already existing. Plagiarists, by paraphrasing or translating from, an, from another, one language to another, is usually not detected through the software and the academic community has the final role to play in the plagiarist detection. Clear plagiarist situation in which significant fraudulent fragments are taken in identically without the distinctive situation sign and without mentioning the source are uh, added to a situation in which plagiarism is not obvious and the idea take up being enriched and transformed by the author. Plagiarism can be made from unpublished source, private dis uh, discussion, presentation and unpublished conference and so on, impossible to detect with the help of software or even by members of the academic community that does not uh, take part in that uh, pre uh, presentation, conference and so on. Safe plagiarism is taking the author's own idea and repeatedly publishing them in the same form without mentioning the republication and without proper citation. Honest quoting can be of several ways. The sample quoting through which a fragment of a work is taken given in a quotation mark or other form of clear citation followed by bibliographical reference by footnote or note in the text. Continuous quote uh, when uh, several fragments are taken identically and quote interrelated uh, with the comments on the author quoting and uh, accompanied with a single bibliographical reference. The bibliographical reference which indicates the source of an idea without taking fragments from the work. A series of uh, discussions arise when many ideas are taken from a work that is quoted but not after every idea taking a, a note in a manner in which it is obvious it was taken from the same source of all ideas, especially when uh, between them downloads uh, uh, from other source uh, uh, or uh, uh, quotation from other uh, work uh, intervene. A rule in the realization of the bibliographical apparatus is that the existing uh, bibliography would be found in the text and uh, reciprocally and all citations in the text are presented in the bibliography. It is not uh, correct to mention in the bibliography same works uh, to which there are no references in the text motivated by the fact that those tools were generally used 
as an ideological framework. It is necessary to specify which of these ideas expressed in the text have a, as its source in uh, the material mentioned in the bibliography. Another plagiarist situation is the use of ideas of one of the participants in the research, but for the same reason it has not been included or, or withdrawn from authorship of the article. Some consideration regarding the element of uh, success for article. The article's coverage with the purpose of the journal and the topic of the issue, if uh, it is uh, presented, increases the chances of an article to be published. Regarding the research objective of the article, it will usually be analyzed from the point of view of the scientific importance and potential beneficiary of the results. The results of research can be used as a starting point or background for other research or can be used directly by practitioners. Strictly academic journals tend to prefer articles that will be developed in a subsequent research by the same author or other authors. This opinion is partially justified by the fact that this article will attract citation faster, including self-citations, if based on the results published in an article, at least one of the authors will make further development. The self-situation of a previous article, which was the basis of a new research, is justified and even mandatory to avoid self-plagiarism. Although in the uh, Romanian system of evaluation of research performance, self-assessments are not taken into account, they are considered acceptable in the ICI citation system, for example, contributing to the impact factor and the Hirsch factor, uh, even if uh, it's uh, in a high uh, level, but uh, uh, if the high level of self-citation of a journal, for example, is detected, uh, this journal could be, uh, could be affected and uh, could be, uh, its impact factor could be withdrawn, or even uh, the research, the journal could be uh, expelled from a uh, database. Thomson uh, writers, Clarivet uh, Analytics now, consider a 35% of self-citation rate of an article or publication to be acceptable in um, many of uh, the journals, but it depends on the category of the journal. Uh, but when the self-citation uh, rate uh, are higher than 50%, which shows shows the tendency of uh, grouping uh, some uh, researchers from a country around publications that make uh, nucleus of researchers publishing on the same topics and who appreciate each other. But it could uh, also show a fraudulent uh, uh, group of uh, reciprocal uh, rotation. Uh, Self-citation is mandatory when a scientific text previously published in a journal is uh, resumed later and developed in an article published in the same or another journal. Our analysis of uh, Romanian publications show a low rate of citation of uh, Romanian authors by other Romanian authors, and even a low rate of self-citation of a researcher's article in article published in other journals than those in which the article was uh, originally published, except the, uh, the, uh, the moment when uh, is, uh, the intention is to artificially increase the impact factor of uh, a journal. This fact leads uh, us to uh, uh, the lack of uh, trust of Romanian authors in the research of their colleagues or the fear of uh, provincialization. Another observation made following the analysis of the Romanian publications shows a small interest uh, of the Romanian authors to quote articles from the main scientific flow uh, in uh, the field. Since database analyzed the number of readers of the journal or indexed journal already, indexed journals, Publishing article, many journals are rejecting article with a small number of citations from other uh, indexed uh, articles. Rejecting is just justified by the argument that publications in the main scientific uh, area are generally uh, topical and contain reliable results. The lack of citation in the field may indicate the provincialization of the research in the, in the named country. Obviously, in the same areas, including Romanian law, for example, Romanian language and literature and other specific uh, studies, they are full, uh, fully justified to uh, address research based on local interest and lesser global relevance. But in uh, other uh, general uh, part, in the other kind of science, it is necessary to uh, have all, uh, all wide uh, uh, quotations. Thank you very much for listening to me and uh, uh, continue to listen and be with us on uh, Editorial Man channel 
for news uh, and for new presentation on ethical topics and on uh, ethical publication, scientific ethics and so on. I'm Antonio Sando and I wish you have a great day.